today we are going to see the examples on the steam formation part 2 so welcome to my youtube channel mechanical engineering management so let's take the question first determine enthalpy and internal energy of 1 kg of steam at a pressure of 12 bar when case number 1 the dryness fraction of the steam is 0.8 case number 2 steam is dry and saturated case number 3 steam is superheated to 280 degree celsius that means the temperature of the superheated steam is given to you take cps as 2.1 kJ per kg kelvin that means specific heat at constant pressure of steam is given to you if it is not given to you in the examination then you can assume cps as 2.1 kJ per kg kelvin so first case number 1 the dryness fraction of the steam is given to you as x is equal to 0.8 and we want to find the enthalpy as well as internal energy of 1 kg of steam so at 12 bar pressure i am going to find hf and hfg with the help of the steam table so at 12 bar pressure that is given to you and we want to find hf and hfg So this is HF seven nine eight point four. So I can write over here kilojoule per kg from the steam table. Next HFG corresponding to the twelve bar, and this is the HFG, and the corresponding value is over here one nine eight four point three kilojoule per kg. Once again, it is from the steam table. Now I want to find the specific volume also at twelve bar pressure. from the steam table so this is the 12 bar pressure now talking about specific volume and that is 0.16321 meter cube per kg from the steam table now as we know that enthalpy of the wet steam so now i can put this value hf 798.4 plus x that is given to you dryness fraction 0.8 into hfg 1984.3 so you can find the hw that means the enthalpy of the wet steam and obviously this is the enthalpy of the wet steam so unit must be kilojoule per kg so this is the first answer enthalpy of the steam for case number 1 so make a box now i am going to find the internal energy so this is my page number 1 so as you know that for the internal energy h is equal to u plus pv so we have to find this volume first and this is the volume of the steam and you know that the steam is wet steam so i can say it is vw and you know that vw is equal to x into vg means volume of wet steam is equal to x into vg so we have to find the vg from the steam table corresponding to 12 bar pressure and that already you know that vg from the steam table corresponding to 12 bar so i can put the value over here so is equal to x dryness fraction of the steam into vg that is 0.16321 that is 0.16321 so if you simplify then you will get vw and this is a specific volume so i can say it is meter cube per kg so once you got this vw then i can use this equation so from this equation i can say h that is the enthalpy of the steam that already you have so i can put it 2385.84 is equal to u as it is because of that is my objective plus pv so pressure that is given to you as 12 bar but keep in mind that that pressure that is in bar so we have to simplify it first and now you know that bar that is actually 10 to 5 newton per meter square so that you have to remember 1 bar is equal to 10 to 5 newton per meter square so 10 to 5 means 10 to 2 into 10 to 3 and 10 to 3 that is kilo newton per meter square so you have to put the value of the pressure in this equation that is always in kilo newton per meter square 
because the specific enthalpy that is in kilojoule. So your pressure must be in kilo newton per meter square. So now I can put this value of the pressure in this equation. So P is 12 into 10 raised to 2 into volume and that you know 0 0.13057. So if you simplify then you will get internal energy and obviously it is the energy but it is the specific internal energy so the unit is kilojoule per kg. So this is my second answer for the case number 1 enthalpy and internal energy. So make a box. So here these are your two answer. First is the enthalpy and second is the internal energy. Now case number 2. And case number 2 once again at 12 bar pressure steam is dry and saturated. So I can say x is equal to 1. So already you got these all values HF, HFG and VG from the steam table. So you know that the enthalpy of the dry steam that is HG is equal to HF plus HFG. So you can put HF 798.4 plus HFG 1984.3 Simplify. So I will get HG. HG is the specific enthalpy so it must be in kilojoule per kg so this is your first answer for the case number 2 enthalpy so make a box now I am going to find the internal energy for the case number 2 so this is my first page so as we know that enthalpy H is equal to U plus PV so H that is 2782.7 is equal to U plus PV pressure is always in terms of kilo newton per meter square so already we have discussed it 12 into 10 raised to 5 newton per meter square so this is the pressure in kilo newton per meter square so put it over here so plus as it is P that means 12 into 10 raised to 2 volume and this volume that is the VG directly because of the steam is given to as dry saturated so VG 0.16321 so I will get U is equal to 2586.85 this is internal energy so it is kilojoule per kg so this is your next answer so make a box so now for the case number 2 you have the two value enthalpy that is 2782.7 and internal energy that is 2586.85 now case number 3 steam is superheated so already you know that at pressure 12 bar from the steam table HF, HFG and VG now the enthalpy of superheated steam at superheated is equal to HG plus CP delta T so already you got this value for the case number 2 so I can use this value directly in this equation Hg is 2782.7 Cp that is also given to you in the data 2.1 So I can put it over here 2.1 T superheated that is given to you for the case number 3 the superheated temperature is 280 So I can put over here 280 minus T saturation and T saturation that is not given to you. So you can find this T saturation corresponding to the 12 bar pressure from the steam table. Corresponding to the 12 bar pressure and we want to find the saturation temperature. So the saturation temperature is 188. So T saturation is 188 degree Celsius from the steam table and so that I can put it over here. So simplify this equation so you will get H superheated 2975.9 kilojoule per kg. So that is your first answer for the case number 3 enthalpy. So make a box. Now I am going to find the internal energy for the case number 3. So this is my earlier page. So as we know that H is equal to U plus PV where V is the specific volume of the superheated steam and that we have to find first so you know that 
Vg upon T saturation is equal to V superheated upon T superheated. So Vg that you know that 0.16321 T saturation that is also you know that 188. But in this equation we have to convert that saturation temperature in Kelvin. So add 273 so that is now in Kelvin. V superheated that is my objective. T superheated that is also given to you 280 but that is in degree Celsius so convert it into Kelvin. So when you are going to use this equation your temperature must be in Kelvin. So simplify it so you will get this V superheated. This is specific volume so unit is meter cube per kg. So once you got this V superheated then you can use this equation. So I am going to put the value at superheated that is 2975.9 is equal to U as it is plus pressure that you know that must be in kilonewton per meter square. So P is 12 into 10 raised to 2 plus V that is the specific volume of the superheated steam and that you know 0.1958. So simplify it. So you will get U 2740.94. This is the internal energy, so it must be kilojoule per kg. So that is your second answer for the case number 3. So make a box. So we have solved these three different cases to find the enthalpy and internal energy. So I hope you understood it. So thanks my dear friends. Press the like button to appreciate this video.